With summer officially kicking off next week, people will be heading outdoors for some color. But right now, scientists are looking at a new way for sun lovers, potentially in the future, to get that color, no sun involved, no exposure to harmful UV rays. Joining us now to explain, Dr. David Cangello, a plastic surgeon here in New York City. Uh, Dr. Cangello, this is not on the market yet. Correct. But it could be soon. Correct. What is it? So this is a chemical that researchers at Mass General Hospital um, looked at. Essentially, it's a, it's a chemical in the pathway that causes our cells to release melanin. And we know that melanin uh, confers a protective um, mechanism for us to prevent us from the harmful rays of, uh, or harmful UV rays. So when you get a tan, what's happening is sun is hitting your skin. Right. And as a defense, because your skin's saying, ah, this is no good, it releases melanin. And that's the color? Sort of. So darker skinned individuals actually naturally release melanin pigment but lighter skinned indiv individuals do not release the pigment so and the reason this happens in some and not others is because there's a gene that's activated but it's not activated in people who are light skinned mm. so what this chemical does is it sort of bypasses that gene that's not activated in light skinned people and it causes melanin to be released so once it's released we then get pigment like a suntan and then that protective advantage of the melanin against the harmful rays of the sun is actually conferred to people who have light skin. So this is a product that would give you both the appearance of a tan and the protection of a kind Correct. of sunscreen? Correct. So we know, that, we know that people who are dark skinned have lower rates of melanoma skin cancer and that's because they have a lot of pigment in their skin mm. and that pigment comes from melanin. So fair-skinned individuals who don't have a lot of melanin, they, they have higher rates of melanoma skin cancer, and of course they have lighter skin tones. So when this stimulates that melanin production, which is not normally turned on in light-skinned people, it actually gives them a tan and it prevents potentially prevents skin cancer. Now I'm guessing we're not going to see this product in the display at the front of drugstores next week when summer begins, but how soon could we see something like this on the market? Well, it's a good question. I mean, it's very much in the experimental stages still. In fact, the researchers at Mass General, they've only used this on lab animals, and they actually took um, skin specimens from surgical samples, and they applied it to the skin uh, sample from the surgical specimen and they saw that the mice got darker skin and and the, the surgical specimens actually turned darker turned tan so you know a lot of studies have to be done still to see if this is actually you know workable in people and, and if it's safe because the chemical itself it's kind of interesting um, the chemical that, that it inhibits is a normally a tumor suppressor in our cells so if you inhibit something that normally suppresses tumor growth, it actually could cause a different type of cancer. So very early in the, in the um, sort of research and experimental stages before this, you know, potentially gets to market. I'm hoping you can clarify something for me. True sure. or false, a suntan is in effect an injury to the skin that we happen to think is beautiful. You know, the suntan is not really so much the injury um, because, again, the suntan is just a product of the release of melanin. Where the injury occurs is, number one, if the skin gets burned, okay? But also the UV rays, um, what they do is they can cause damage to the DNA of the cells, and that's how we potentially get skin cancer. But it's not the tan in and of itself that... Is the tan a sign of trauma the way a bruise is a sign of impact? That's a good question. The, the tan is not a burn would be and that's exactly actually what we're saying here is is that it's possible that being tan and stimulating a tan in someone who's a fair-skinned individual mm -hmm. and is prone to skin cancer might actually prevent them from getting skin cancer in the meantime spf what this summer at least 35 i always tell 35 it goes up every year <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> all right well, dr <laughs> david cangello a plastic surgeon here in new york i appreciate you walking us through it thank you very much